Good morning, scholars, and happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another day of guided reading with Miss Rossi. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I even wore my Great Weeks Academy shirt today because I really, really miss all of you. And so I hope that you know that I miss you and that you are guys are all doing an awesome, awesome job, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get started today making some inferences. Now, you guys are already experts at this. You know how to make inferences. You should know that we need two things to make an inference. Pause your video and tell me what two things you need to make an inference now. We need text evidence and schema. We need, yes, text evidence and schema. And remember, schema is what you know. Schema is very good. And we also have a sentence stem that helps us with inferential questions. If we're asked a question and, we, and the author doesn't tell us the answer, we need to make an inference. We need to make a, and when we make an inference, we can use this sentence stem to help us make sure we're reading the answer correct. We're going to read the sentence stem all together on two, one, two. In the story, I read blank. Ooh, good text evidence. So that makes me think blank. Good. One more time. All together on two, one, two. In the story, I read blank. So that makes me think blank. Ooh, nice hand motions. I can't wait to make some inferences with you today. Now remember, this week we're talking about character change. Ooh, watch my hands. I'm going to do that one more time. We're talking about character change. We're talking about, now remember, we have this hand motion because we're pretending like we're a character and we're looking in the mirror at ourselves, but then we change. And so I want you to look at this picture of this action figure or this um, PlayStation guy, girl. So this is a character in a game. And you guys might have played video games where you can put different color hair on this person. You can change their clothes. You can change if they're laughing or smiling or mad. This is kind of like what character change is in the book. You might make a character, but then something would happen to that character, and maybe now they're wearing a hat. Or maybe now they have on long pants and something about them changes. So in our stories, in our texts, our characters might start one way in the beginning of the story and they might be different at the end of the story. So when we talk about character change, when we talk about, we always say in the beginning of the story, we say in the beginning of the story, we say, and then at the end of the story, so we say at the beginning of the story blank and at the end of the story blank. So that's how our characters change. That's how our, all right. So I want you to think about this action figure or this cartoon person when you're thinking about character change today. So you can think about how is our character changing in the story? All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with a book today called Broken Arm Blues. And in this story, we have two characters. Their names are Kyle, and Carrie. Their names are Kyle and Carrie. Their names are all right. And Kyle and Carrie both have a broken arm and they have the blues about it, which means they're sad about it. They're upset about it. So we're going to be to find out what happens with Kyle and Carrie and their broken arm blues. Okay, friends, in this book, before you start reading, there are some hard words in this book. This is almost a second grade level book. So I want you to make sure that you are reading through the words. You're going to, yes, you're going to read through the words. Don't guess. Try your best on reading through the words. All right, friends, go ahead and pause your video and read pages three and four now. Good job, friends. I want you to pause your video and read through these two pages now. Pause your video and read through these two pages now. Awesome job, friends. Good endurance. Ooh, the story's getting juicy. All right, go ahead and pause your video and read through these two pages now. Pause your video and read through these two pages now. Awesome job. You're almost there. Go ahead and pause your video and read through these two pages now. Last two pages, nice endurance, friends. Go ahead and pause your video and read through these two pages now. All right, let's go ahead and answer some inferential questions about our friends Kyle and Carrie. Very, very nice job. How did Kyle break his arm? 
pause your video and tell me how Kyle broke his arm. Go ahead and do that now. In this story I read, oh, Miss Rossi needs to get her highlighter. Miss Rossi's highlighter was not working yesterday, so maybe it'll work today. Oh, yeah. Okay, so friends, so it says, Kyle was playing soccer and he broke his arm. So that one comes right from the text. Kyle broke his arm playing soccer. Okay, let's get ready for the next question. How did Carrie break her arm? Go ahead and pause your video and answer that question now. It says right in the text, Carrie broke her arm in karate. Very nice job. My next question. Why does their Kyle and Carrie's dad say that they are like two peas in a pod? Why does their dad say that they're like two peas in a pod? Go ahead and pause your video and answer that question now. In the story I read that they did everything together. They were best friends, which means that they are two peas in a pod. So two peas in a pod is like when peas come in a little pod, they come in peas, the food, they come in a little pod and there's two of them. So they're really close together. They're really good friends. They make do everything together, just like Kyle and Carrie. So they're like two peas in a pod because they do everything together. So my answer is in the story I read that their dad thinks they're two peas in a pod. So that makes me think that they like to do everything together and they play together all the time. Awesome job with that inferential question. Let's go ahead to the next. Let's go ahead to the next page. Why was the first week with their casts so exciting? Why was the first week with their casts so exciting? Go ahead and pause your video and answer that question now. In the story, I read that they didn't have to run laps in soccer practice and their parents did their homework for them. So that makes me think that they were excited because they didn't have to do any work. They didn't have to run and they didn't have to do any homework. Wow, they were pretty lucky. Raise your hand if you got that inferential question correct. Nice job. You should have been able to put, use text evidence on this page and use your schema to know that if you have a cast, you probably can't really write and it's probably a little bit harder for you to run and practice in sports. And so they did not have to do any work. And that's why the first week of the cast was so exciting. I wonder if we're going to have a change, a character change in this story. Let's see. What, what happened the second week they had their casts? What happened the second week Kyle and Carrie had their casts? Go ahead and pause your video and answer that question now. In the story, I see that they had the broken arm blues because things were hard to do with only one arm. Things were hard for them. So in the second week, or excuse me, friends, in the story, I read that things were hard to do with only one arm. So that makes me think that in the second week, they did not like having their casts. They did not like having their cast in the second week because they realized that things were really hard to do with one hand. What was hard for Carrie to do with one hand? And what was hard for Kyle to do with one hand? What was hard for Carrie to do with one hand? And what was hard for Kyle to do with one hand? Pause your video and answer that question now. In the story, I read that Carrie couldn't put up her ponytail using just one hand and Kyle couldn't play his video games. So they both were mad because they couldn't use both of their hands and they needed to. Nice job. How do Carrie and Kyle feel on page nine? How do Carrie and Kyle feel on page nine? Go ahead and pause your video and answer that question now. In the story, I read that they are so bored and so blue. Remember when you're feeling blue, like I said in the beginning of the story, you're sad or upset or disappointed in something, you're feeling down. So they feel bored and they feel blue, which means sad or upset or disappointed. That one came right from the text, really nice job. What, how did, why were Carrie and Kyle upset at the soccer game? Why were Carrie and Kyle upset at the soccer game? Pause your video and answer that question now. In the text, I see that it says they couldn't even clap their hands when their team scored a goal. They only had one hand. They couldn't clap with the other hand. So that makes me think that they were upset that they weren't on the soccer field. They couldn't even clap for their team, so they were upset that they weren't there. Really nice job. Mm -hmm. How did Carrie and Kyle feel the third week they had their casts? Pause your video and answer that question now. In the story, I read that 
<clears throat> excuse me, friends, that they were angry. They couldn't swim. They had to watch everyone else having fun. They couldn't do anything. They were at a birthday party with the pool and they couldn't swim because they're cast. So this is my answer. In the story, I read that Carrie and Kyle couldn't swim and couldn't have fun and they were angry. So that makes me think that they did not like having their cast anymore and the third week of having their cast was bad for them. Good job, let's go ahead to the next page. <laughs> what started to happen to their casts? What started to happen to their casts? Pause your video and answer that question now. In the story I read that their cast is starting to smell. And on the page before, it also says, look at my highlighter, that their arms also started to itch. So their arms in their cast were itching and they were smelling. Now, Miss Rossi has had a cast before in her life when I was in kindergarten, and casts are itchy and casts are smelly. So that's what started to happen, and Kyle and Carrie were not happy. What happened the fourth week that Kyle and Carrie had their casts? What happened the fourth week? Go ahead and pause your video and answer that question now. They just, in this story, I read that they decided to team up. They decided to use teamwork. And together, they jumped rope and they clapped their hands together with their team. So if this is Carrie's hand and this is Kyle's hand, they clapped one of their hand to the other one of their hand. And they jumped rope together using each one of their hand. Love that. Now, this is really good teamwork. So how do Carrie and Kyle feel on the fourth week of their cast? How do they feel on this page? Pause your video and answer that question now. In the story, I see that they are smiling. Their dad is giving them a thumbs up and dad says, you're like two peas in a pod. So that makes me think that Kyle and Carrie are getting used to having their casts on and they're using teamwork to make it better. They're working together so that their casts aren't so bad. Really nice job. What could Carrie and Kyle do again after their casts were off? What could Carrie and Kyle do again after their casts were off? Pause your video and answer that question now. In the story, I read that they could now swim, play soccer, and go to karate. So they can do everything like normal. Really nice job. How did Carrie and Kyle feel when their cast came off? How did Carrie and Kyle feel when their cast came off? Pause your video and answer that question now. In the story, I see that they're both smiling and happy and they get to play their games again. So that makes me think that Kyle and Gary are relieved. <sighs> relieved, just like when you're like, oh, thank God. So Kyle and Carrie are relieved. Kyle and Carrie are. They're happy, they're excited, and they're proud of themselves. Really nice job. Okay, now here's my last question. This is the most important question. How did Carrie and Kyle change in the story? How did Carrie and Kyle change in the story? So don't forget, what were they like at the beginning of the story, and what were they like at the end of the story? All right, go ahead and pause your video and tell me how Carrie and Kyle changed in the story. In the beginning of the story, Carrie and Kyle liked having casts because they didn't have to do any work. At the end of the story, Carrie and Kyle couldn't wait to get their casts off because they couldn't play any games or have any fun. So listen to my answer one more time. In the beginning of the story, Carrie and Kyle liked having their casts off because they didn't have to do any work. And in the end of the story, they couldn't wait to get their casts off because they couldn't do anything fun. We had a character change. We had a... All right, nice job if you got that question right. If you did not, it's okay. We're still going to do lots more character change. Don't worry. Really nice job today, friends. All right, now, tomorrow we're going to have a special special, special surprise. If you are a first grade GLA scholar, you are gonna wanna tune in to the video tomorrow, okay? M Mr. Rossi's video, but all the videos, of course, Ms. Javity's, Ms. Cherney's, and Ms. Marsh's video also, but my video will have a very special surprise, so please make sure you're watching tomorrow. Please keep up the good work. You are all doing an awesome job. I know that it can be so hard to watch videos and learn, but you're all trying your best, and that is exactly what your teachers want. You're doing a wonderful job, friends. Keep it up. I'm so proud of you. Nice for you.